Today I'm going to show you how to print seeding maps from Field Analyzer or from Field Analyzer Beta. So to get started, to get to either of those tools, you can just go right up to the Analyze drop-down and go to Field Analyzer or Field Analyzer Beta. Otherwise, you can select your field on the map or from the list over here and it'll zoom to your field. And select this button here and that'll take you to Field Analyzer. Also in your details, there's another Field Analyzer button here. So we'll go ahead and go into Field Analyzer from there. And it's going to load up our demo field uh, and the latest operation that was completed on it. So this is our 2020 corn harvest map. Uh, if we want to change that, we can either change it along the bottom here in our calendar view so we can select our operations from here or we can drop down in the upper left and go to corn seeding. If we want to print off our as applied rate we can keep it here or we can choose varieties, planned rate or seeding speed from here to print off whatever map we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and go back to as applied rate and then to print our map we just go up to the upper right drop down up here, select print and it's going to print off our map along with our agronomic totals in our legend. Uh, if we need to adjust this here, we can pull this map around, zoom in and out. Um, so if we need to focus on a certain portion of the field or something, we can do that as well. So once you're ready and satisfied with this, you can hit print. It'll bring up your print dialog and it's going to print that map for you. So if we go back, we can also go into Field Analyzer Beta from right here, and that's going to keep our current field, or we can go to it uh, from the drop down, like I mentioned before. But we'll select Field Analyzer Beta from right here, and we'll continue. And it's going to load up that same field for us. So once it loads up, it's going to bring up, again, whatever the last completed operation was for it. So if we need to change that, like here it's harvest, we'll drop down over on the left here and we can choose seeding. And this is where we can change our layers as well. So if we were trying to um, select a different layer, we can do that over on the left. But we'll go back to our as applied rate to print in Field Analyzer Beta. All you need to do is go up to export and it's going to create a PDF of this field and of the uh, totals for the field. It'll download it down here and it'll be in your downloads folder in your files. But you can open it up and take a look at that field from here. So we can see we're zoomed out pretty far um, on this map here. If we go back in and get this zoomed in to where we actually want it, it's going to print however we've got it zoomed in. So that's something to note before you go ahead and hit your export button. So now if we hit export again, it's going to create another PDF for us. And that one looks a lot better. We're a lot more zoomed in on that one. So you kind of have to work with it. Um, get everything centered up before you hit print, or before you hit export, and it's going to print out a little bit more evenly. If you need to make any other edits, you can also change your legend over here by hitting edit. So you can change what the breakpoints are, um, you can distribute them evenly, restore, set your own, add in additional breakpoints, uh, and you can save those as a template for your other fields as well. So that is how we create a seeding map in the Operations Center Field Analyzer and Field Analyzer Beta tools. Thanks for watching.